Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bells. If I'm your host, Big Bells. Ah, freaking right, I am. Well, ordered myself a filter for a vacuum that Brian gave me from the old friggin' Home Depot on Saturday. And here it is Monday, and I'm still friggin' waiting for him to confirm an order on a friggin' filter. Sure, I get it, they're busy, but what's really going on? It's a filter, for God's sakes. And it's on the shelf. They had the 20 in stock, Jim. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Tis the season for Coronas, I guess. Coronas, Coronas, we all have Coronas. So we gotta sit back and do nothing until the Coronas passes. Forget it, failed. Fail! So, went to eat my lunch today that Mama made me and I had some green fungi on the old bread -rooski. No frills, I'm gonna give up on you, I am. We got a watermelon from you. We opened the watermelon up and it was freaking overripe and just stunk. We got strawberries from you. Half the strawberries were dickered. We got bread from you. Damn near green and they're not even expired yet. Smirn up for frig's sakes. It's Raven at lunchtime with Bills of today. Okay, guys, I got another thing for you. I was out yesterday, went for a drive into town to get my power washer with Melanie. And if there's anything in that clip, I'll show it to you right now, but I don't think there is, but here it is just in case. Well, we're in town, we are, so we're just gonna get over to the old man. We should stop at um, Eminem's meat shop and get some mozzarella stickers. Yeah. Nah. We had some yesterday. Careful, they're open. We could. You know what, I got thinking, Mel, today's Sunday, and unless I see something really cool, I don't feel like doing it. What do you think of that, eh? There you go. But anyways, going through Canaterra Park. Everybody's parked along the road and walking, and you know, they're, they're minding their own business. Didn't see any herds of people in one spot or anything like that, but they have all the parking lot closed. So they close the parking lot, but yet you can park anywhere else in the park. They close under the bridge. But yet you can park down the street, you can park all along Front Street. There's nothing closed. So my question, Mayor Mike friggin' Snatch. My question, Mayor Mike Bradley, is why in the F would you close parking lots so people have to bunch together? Isn't that kind of like defeating the purpose? People are going to get out and go for a walk on a nice day. Closing the goddamn parking lot ain't gonna stop it. I'll tell you right now, it's just gonna cause people to be closer together. Open the damn parking lot, you moron. There's another rant for you. Nobody's hurt nothing sitting in their car under the bridge watching the water. They're in their car. And that's what most people do under the bridge. By closing the parking lots isn't gonna control the spread of coronas. Trust me, I'm one of those people that believe in staying home and staying safe. But at the same time, it's thicker. You guys aren't making any sense. That guy works at Bailey Toyota. Freaking right he does. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me or not. Or don't leave a comment down below. Subscribe and like too if you want. That would be great, you know, if you subscribed and friggin' liked once in a while. You know, I get like 300 people watch me, you know, and I get like two dislikes and then like 75 likes. Like, obviously there's 300 just watching it or whatever on average. So, where the hell's the likes, Jim? What's really going on? <laughs> there you go, a little rant for you today, too. Take that, subscribers. Frig. Here it is, 12.30, you watch this friggin' Dairy Queen's gonna be lying. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Grill and chill. Why wouldn't you? So I've come to a conclusion. My conclusion is, friggin' hate working. That's what my conclusion is, Jim. Look at the lineup here for friggin' Dairy Queen. I'm gonna get myself a friggin' blizzard. Smarty blizzard. I'll be decent. Wonder if my drone made it to Toronto. Let's take a gander. Captain? Uh-oh. Expected delivery today by the end of the day, Jim. Decent. So they're gonna get my drone pretty early there, so hopefully I get it back at the end of the week. That'd be awesome. Don't let yet. Can I get a number one? A number six? Yes, they're both in combos. Yes, both with fries. Both with Pepsi. An onion ring. And then a small Smarties Blizzard. That's everything. Nice. <laughs> what? 23 something sounds awful cheap. 
hundred bucks if they didn't get more right. Figure number one, number three, smarty. No, no, it can't be right. No way in friggin' hell is that right. Premium fruit smoothie, bananas and strawberries. Oh, I'm gonna get one of them next time. Friggin' right I am. Quarter one, ready? Holy cow! Are you sure you got my order right? It seems awful cheap. It's the number one with fries and a Pepsi. The number six fries and a Pepsi with a five onion rings and a bullshit. Yeah. You guys are cheaper than most fast food places, eh? <laughs> that looks like 30 bucks. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. You too. Oh, it smells so good, Jim. Fair right, it does. Oh, Keystone. What are you doing? America. I'm gonna eat some food, I am. All done for the day, I am. How about you? Leave a comment down below if you are. Why wouldn't you? Day three of windiness. Hey, all weekend has been windy. It's a windy, windy. Friggin' right it is. She's a north wind. She got cool again. She's 44 going out of 31. Let me know in the comments down below what temperature it is where you are. Why wouldn't you? But, on a good note, the guy received my drone today that I sent in for repair. So, hopefully the turnaround time will be pretty quick on that. Because I text him, I say, hey bud, did you get my drone today? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, he said. He goes, I'll look at it now. I'm like, yeah, he said. Why wouldn't you? <clears throat> I wonder how much money that's going to cost me. Leave your comments down below if you think you know. I'm gonna say 150 bucks to 200. Too much. How about that, eh? Too much. Friggin' right it is. Why wouldn't it be? Today, you don't give two shits about trains. Apologize. I almost slipped up there, Jim. <laughs> Fuck. Today, this morning I should say, on my way to work, where's Buddy going? Right off the friggin' road. Train went by with engine in the middle and at the end. I always miss them. They always go by like at like six in the morning. I'm not gonna run outside at six o'clock in the morning to try to catch the train. I'll tell you that right now. It's bad enough we have to go to work in the morning, eh? Frank, no offense, bosses. No offense. El bossos. Anywho, that's how my day went. Hopefully your day went just as good as mine. My day went good. It's just I'm fat and I'm out of shape, so I get tired easy. Really? My seatbelt's on there, dingle nuts. Well, traction control. Have an eye, Captain. So once I get in better shape again, summertime comes, I sweat off the fat, and this and that and the other thing. So once that comes, we should be mint. Other than that, stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what the frig to do for now. <laughs>